Hello everyone. Welcome back to Simple Networking. Today we are going to see Spanning Tree Protocol interview question and answer. Please go through the video fully. You will get idea what type of question will be asked in the interview about STP and RSTP. So let's go into the video. So the first question is like what is STP or we can say tell us something about STP. So this is very common question which is asked in the interview here i made some bullet points which we can explain in the simple and easy way so what is stp so stp abbreviation is like spanning tree protocol it is ieee 802.1.3 so stp runs on the bridges and switches nowadays we are not using bridges still we can convey stp runs on the bridges and switches and it's a layer 2 protocol so layer 2 protocol means in osa model we have seven layers so in that layer 2 is the data link layer switch will work in the layer 2 or we can say switch is the layer 2 devices so stp and rstp it's a layer 2 protocol stp prevents the loops in the network created by the redundancy link so let's take example we have two switches so two switches is connected with a two cable so in that what happen if any packets or any frames okay so if it is coming from this switch to this switch okay again this frames will goes to here right so what happen it will make a loop so to avoid that stp mechanism is introduced in the one of the port will be block and another port will be as a forwarding port so this is the meaning so stp is the responsible for removing the layer 2 loops from the topology so as i explained and it as i said it will be shut down the interface one of the interface let's say uh, this interface is shut down okay so what are the traffic is there or what are the frames is there so it will be forward to the other link if any situation if this link goes down again stp mechanism will enable the disabled port method of operation stp use the spanning tree algorithm sta to create a topology database there is high possibility to ask one more question in the stp like what is the disadvantage if we use stp so we can convey like stp is a slow convergence protocol if any failures is happen in direct failure it will take 30 seconds and indirect failure 50 seconds comparatively rstp responds within 6 seconds so stp this is the disadvantage it's a like slow convergence protocol we'll move into the next question so question 2 what is rstp so RSTP is like a similar to the STP. RSTP abbreviation is like Rapid Spanning Tree Protocol IEEE 802.1.W. STP is 802.1.D. This is also same. STP runs on the bridges and switches. It's a layer 2 protocol. And RSTP advanced version of the STP. And we have one more advantage if we use RSTP. What is that advantage means like this is backward compatible with STP. So which means we have two switches. Let's assume this is one switch. This is one switch. And this switch is uh, running like RSTP. This switch is running STP. This convergency will be happen within RSTP switches to the STP switches. This is the advantage backward compatible and the method of operation is like rapid spanning tree algorithms to create the topology. So there is one more advantage for the RSTP. If we say RSTP is efficiency, the reason RSTP is more efficient than STP. It will it can be detect a loop in the network and faster than the STP, preventing and potential the network failure as well. So that's why we are saying RSTP is the efficiency. Let's move into the next question. What is the main difference between STP and RSTP? So the standard for the difference is like this is IEEE 802.1.D. This is 1.W. 
convergency if you see for the stp it's like slow convergency and this is fast convergency why it is slow convergency means it will take 30 to 50 seconds for direct and indirect failure but if you, you use the rstp it will be take minimum or maximum six seconds to make the convergency and that's why it, we are saying like it's a fraction of seconds to make the convergency so stp port status we have five types one is like disable blocking listening learning and forwarding but rstp only we have three so blocking and listening is bypassed in the rstp so we have saving some around 30 seconds if you use rstp and port rule for the rstp road bridge road port non-road port designated port and non-designated port so, so if you like to know more about stp rstp root bridge designated port non-designated port the video is available in our youtube channel please go through the video you will get more idea so let's go into the next question so the next question is like spanning tree path cost value so this is also very one uh, interesting question so there is a uh, panelist will ask like what is the speed for what is the cost for the 1 gbps link answer is like 4 what is the cost value for 10 gbps link answer is uh, 2 the default cost value is according to the ieee 802.1.3 and this is standardized in the 1998 so the default cost value can be manually overrided by us as means like network administrator to influencing the select of the parts into the spanning tree so this is very uh, important questions in the interview what is bpd use so BPDUs is like a bridge protocol unit is the abbreviation for the BPDUs. So this BPDUs is a message transmitting with the two switches to detecting the loop in the LAN network. So which means uh, like in OSPF we will say like hello packets right in routing table. So every uh, two seconds the hello packets will be exchanged from OSPF. So same way this is also BPDUs we will uh, call in the switch uh, terminology. So the same way switch also will send the uh, BPDUs in the every two seconds. So there are two kinds of BPDUs message. One is like configuration BPDUs another one is like TCN. TCS, TCN means like topology change notification. So configuration BPDUs, uh, the first one, sends by the root bridge to provide the information to the all the switches. Okay. So once we configure uh, configure the spanning tree or once we connected to the switch, so the what happened? The root bridge is the master uh, switch. So that switch will provide the information or the configuration to the non bridge non root bridge so those information is exchanging we will call as the configuration bpds tcn is like when the switch is uh, the interface is going up and down so or we can say like uh, the this tcn sends the bridge towards to the non root bridge to notify the changes in the topology when uh, switch is going up and down so this is like a stp high level question which is uh, asking the interview if you are having experience like five years or six years experience so the panelist will interest to evaluate into the real-time questions like if you uh, hit this command what happened or they want to know about high level so this kind of question will be asked so this is just for the um, reference purpose so if you know this thing it will be easy to answer you so how many root port will be there in the one non root bridge okay the answer is one so only one root port will be there into the non root bridge next question how many root bridge will be there in the stp topology it mean one stp topology how many root bridge will be there this is also one only one root bridge will be there into the one stp in stp topology so what is designated port non-designated port so if they ask designated port generally we will call as a forwarding port non-designated port is the blocking port so this is like a top level command uh, or like a topic command is this like if you panelist wants to know you filter you into the um, 
command level means this question also might ask about the stp so if they want to manipulate a one spanning tree protocol to the another spanning tree let's say that the switch is running stp and we want to change it to the rstp so what is the command means if with the command is this one so we need to go to this switch then enable mode then configuration con terminal mode once we are into the configuration terminal the command is like spanning tree mode rstp iphone pvst so if you want to change it to the rstp to mvst the command will be same only this command will be changed so and this is uh, second question is like if the switch is running uh, spanning tree but we wants to know our network administrator wants to know what kind of uh, spanning tree is running like it is rstp or stp or pvst whatever it is so this is the command which will give the output like suppose spanning tree summary or suppose spanning tree active either two command will be hit into the switch so the output will be given in this such way like switch is in the rapid pvst mode in the sense like this switch is running rp vst mode so this is like a technical question which is asking like a debugging level so one switch is uh, having not participating into the stp election or rstp election something so we want to know the status why it is not particip participating in the sense like so we can hit this command like post spanning tree interface and the which interface it is not participating in the detail so the output will be given in the way like bpdu send 3 receive 53 in the sense like this interface is sending the bpdu's packet to the other end like three packets or three bpdu sends and the receive bpdu is 53 so that we can measure okay this bpdu's will be exchanging from this interface to the other interface so this is like a very uh, interesting uh, troubleshooting commands to find out the bpdu's is receiving or not thank you so much for watching this video please like and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icons to get the alert when videos are released and write your comments in your comment box please let us know what you want to learn from us also please drop the email if you have any